Would you buy a true throwback Toyota Tacoma? Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. So I'm out cruising around in a 2003 uh, Mercedes E320. Now, if you don't know what's going on, I'm on a little bit of a trip, an extended trip to central Ohio. Quite a change from deep south Texas, both in weather and traffic and everything that I'm not used to. It's much cooler here. I'm almost cold sitting here this morning and it's 79 degrees. Now, by the time you see this video, chances are I'm probably already back in South Texas. So thank goodness I have my truck back or my trucks. I have three here or there, depending on where I am right now. Uh, and I've missed them. But I've been thinking while I've been driving around in this late model Mercedes, would I want, would I actually buy a throwback Toyota Tacoma? Gotta say, I really do love the first gen, second gen Tacomas. I think they looked awesome and I think there's a lot of mod possibilities with them. You know, there's been this blue uh, first gen, I think it is, it might be a second gen Tacoma that I've seen on the web here and there and they have it all decked out, all updated, lifted. I mean, it looks awesome. I would love to have that truck. I would hate to see what they would want for it, but I would love to have that truck. So I got to thinking, you know, what if Toyota came out with a throwback truck? You know, every once in a while, Toyota surprises us, not recently, but in the past, with some sort of a kind of special edition truck. And maybe, just maybe, they might do that again. Wishful thinking, probably, but you can dream, right? So, would I buy one? Now, I'm talking about a true throwback truck. I'm talking about roll-up windows. I'm talking about a bed that articulates all over the place. You know, when you go over railroad tracks and it kind of does this kind of thing, they used to do that really severely. Not so bad anymore but it was really kind of a strange feeling. You know, the old brakes, the old steering, maybe even a manual transmission. And I gotta say, for me, it wouldn't really be so much about those things, the creature comforts, if you will, although I would like to have an updated infotainment system. That's probably the biggest thing I would want. But what's more important to me is power. I would wanna have power, a V6, and I don't believe they came in a V6, maybe they did, but I would want a V6, no turbo, power, no lag, none of that kind of stuff. I think that would be awesome. Pair that with everything else new in the truck, new from a throwback standpoint. In other words, early Tacoma stuff, but still brand new. Don't think that would ever happen. What I think they probably would do, if they ever did anything like this, they would come out with a truck that would have all of the modern stuff in it. It would just be a, a throwback or older looking Tacoma, which would be fine. For me, that would probably be ideal. I'm not sure that I could get past not having all that stuff and actually buy the truck because it would be a lot of money. I'm sure it wouldn't be cheap. Probably be looking in the I'm guessing $50,000 range, something like that, maybe mid to high 40s. But I would want all of the most recent stuff, I, minus the lag, I don't want the lag. But I would want the handling, the steering, the brakes, I would want power windows. There's no way I would want manual windows. And it's funny because I get a few people on the channel that say that they like that. They like the old crank style windows. I don't understand that. I guess I just can't relate. I always hated those, probably because my first vehicles that had them, they never worked right. I always had late model vehicles, and I mean really late model. They were old, they were really junkers, and half the time, those things didn't work, they'd come off. I had one, I think, that was actually broken, the handle itself. Remember those little spinny kind of knobs that were on the end of them? Those things, they always came off for me. I even had one come off the track once. 
that wasn't fun. Had to pull the door apart, put it back on the track. It never did work right after that, probably because I really didn't know what I was doing. But I definitely wouldn't want to go back to that. But the body style, the way that it was set up, I think that would be awesome. Now, what would I do to it? Well, I would have to lift it. Uh, I would have to put the bigger wheels and tires. I definitely would want something that pokes out. The blue example that I mentioned, the one that I keep seeing pop up all over the web, you may have seen it. I think on the hood, they've got like some white claw scratch marks or something like that. I mean, it just looks awesome. But I would definitely lift it, bigger wheels and tires, put a little bit of poke on it, and it probably would go a little bit more extreme on the lift as well. I think those trucks, even higher up in the air, looked really, really good. Now, we've probably all seen, well, I know I have, the Marty McFly Tacoma. You know, I've been looking at that a little bit more, and for a while, I actually thought about maybe trying to mimic that on a new Tacoma. Get a black Tacoma, put the chrome wheels on it, make it look like that truck. The roll bar, the KC lights, all that stuff that the truck had. But, you know, after looking at that truck a bit, I think I probably wouldn't get it for me. I would need something a little bit more modern, uh, something a little bit more updated, and something a little bit more colorful. Probably the blue, maybe a red, or even go crazy and do something like yellow, Maybe the Inferno color on that truck would look good. If you're not familiar with that, that's the bright orange that Toyota had for a little while. I hope they bring that back. I hope they bring it back either in the electric form. And wouldn't that be cool? An Inferno electric Tacoma. You know, you've probably seen that white electric. I think it was kind of like a, a demo or maybe just an early edition. Who knows what it'll really look like. But if Toyota goes with that truck, in an inferno color that would be awesome and i think with electric it would just it would be cool or even blue so yeah i think it would be neat to have i most likely would not buy one if it was a true throwback in other words if it was say a, a new old truck everything was new in it but it still was set up the same way as the original ones were because frankly i've become spoiled i like my power windows i like my power brakes and I like the infotainment system with all the connectivity in it and stuff that you can get today. I just think it makes the truck more fun to drive. But let's give us a, an engine that doesn't have the lag and has more oomph to it. Wouldn't that be cool? Again, probably cost prohibitive for Toyota. I imagine it would cost them a fortune to build and then us a fortune to buy. Leave a comment. Let me know. Would you be interested if you could actually buy a true brand new throwback Toyota Tacoma. I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive MT, all about compact trucks, and Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.